Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Today, I want to talk about a poem that I read because it is Poetry Thursday, that time of the week where I catalog uh, the poetry that has interested me as of late. Uh, and today's poem is all about getting lucky and safe sex. I am referring to Friday Night by Vonani Bila. For those who don't know, Vonani Bila is a South African poet uh, who's written uh, mostly poetry. Um, they have a number of poetry collections to their name, uh, and their poetry often focuses on um, marginalized individuals, especially in South Africa. I believe Vanani was born in 1972, so he would have experienced uh, apartheid for uh, a little bit um, and the after effects of apartheid as well. Uh, he's also critical of the government, uh, talking about their failure to properly address the HIV crisis in, in South Africa, uh, which you see in this poem that I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, so a pretty interesting poet that I didn't know about before, but I'm glad that I found because their poetry is um, pretty, um, pretty interesting. Uh, although it is translated, I will note that um, I I don't speak the original language that Vanani speaks. So this is kind of, this is getting like like maybe some of the original uh, original language uh, might have or the original meaning might have been lost. But I haven't heard anyone complain about that, so we're just going to stick with uh, with what I found here. And without further ado, let's talk about this uh, this poem. I will read it, do a little bit of analysis, and we will move on from there. Friday night. Hey, dude, I'm telling you, young fellow, when it's spine chilly cold, hey, you put on a jacket. But when rain pours down, it's grand. Don't forget a raincoat. Hey, buddy, it's Friday night. The gumba is high at Sophie's Stockwell, sweet jazz at Bra Rolly's disco. We don't need fools, no troublemakers here. We, the clever ones, are going there to get down with the girls in tight jeans, holding Zamalek black label, Hunter's gold cigarette on hand. Shake Kiki's wasp-like waist, Joe. Kiki, open your heart, please. Joe was burning up for baby for ages. I'll shake the one with a Coca-Cola bottle figure. Lindy, the ebony black beauty. Lindy, open your heart, please. Baby, your loveliness drives me crazy. The wind is blowing outside. Lindy, hold my hand. Come to my chest. Feel me pulsating. Your breast warming my once lost soul. Your dew-like eyes glistening with love. Make me pale. Let's relax on the lawn. Hold me. Caress me, baby. It's sweet. Hey, Joe, where is the condom in your pocket? Don't make yourself a foolish Thomas. The time of trust is long gone. It's better to trust a boot. It'll protect me from the mud. Or we simply can't control the blood. AIDS is no ver word carving apartheid monsters. While we keep on waxing our ears, death shall lack mercy, old man. Hey, Joe, I'm telling you, little fellow, get it? The time of Fock Fock is long past. So that was Friday night. Um, in terms of analysis, there is a fair bit to talk about with in this poem. Uh, it, it, it seems like in terms of narrative, uh, the narrator, or um, uh, uh, Vanani Bila is, is pretty straightforward in what he's talking about here. He's, the, the narrator is saying, hey, you know, uh, there's, um, there's a party downtown, you know, things are, uh, are, are doing pretty, like there's the party is hopping at the lo local disco. So let's go there. They find some ladies uh, and there is lust in their eyes. They, they are very eager to uh, do more than dance. And uh, ultimately, as they are getting ready for sexy times, uh, they ask, or one of, one of the narrator asks his friend for a condom and says, you can't just leave it to trust, um, especially with age and HIV on the horizon. Uh, and that's about where the poem ends there. Uh, kind of a little bit of a PSA, but a very important one, because you have to understand the context in, w in which this is taking place. You know, in America, we, we, we tell the, the, this message to children, and there's funding for protection 
and and for sexual health tests and whatnot. It's it's kind of commonplace, but that doesn't really exist in many places in Africa. There might not be condoms. There might not be a lot of uh, awareness of this of sexual issues of sexual uh, STIs and whatnot. And um, like as as Vinani Bila has noted before, like the government has failed the people in this regard. And um, often, you know, a bunch of billionaires like Bill Gates come in and, and try to um, raise more awareness and, and, and address the issue. But a lot of money isn't given to these countries to properly solve the issue. So it's more of a PR thing than anything else. I don't think uh, that Bila is getting at that specifically in the poem, but uh, he does um, he does address how, uh, you, know, you know, like HIV is a big issue here and you have to protect yourself. And he, I, I really like how he talks about that, like the euphemisms that he uses. In the first verse, he says, hey, dude, I'm telling you, young fellow, when it's spine chilly cold, hey, you put on a jacket. But when rain pours down, it's grand. Don't forget a raincoat. And so what he's saying is, you know, when uh, when when it comes time to have sex, you know, make sure that you put a condom on so as to protect yourself and also protect your sexual partner because, you know, women are not excluded from being, you know, able to catch AIDS, you know, like men and women both need to protect their, themselves from their from their sexual partners. And it does seem like there's a little bit of mistrust in there uh, because he says uh, later in the uh, in the poem, the time of trust is long gone. It's better to trust a boot. It'll protect me from the mud. Maybe that reflects the government's failings or maybe that um, uh, that's just, you know, um, uh, like they they might not trust other people, which is very unfortunate. That you know uh, it's it's a problem that's reached this point. Um, I, I also like how he infuses history in, into this poem. He says, uh, or we simply can't control the blood. AIDS is no verword carving apartheid monsters. Verword in this poem refers to the politician in South Africa who basically drafted the legislation for apartheid. And so he's saying AIDS is not verword who was so evident and so apparent in what he was doing that it was easy to you know stop him and say, hey, no, we don't want this and fight him or fight the people who spread his message. AIDS is rather a silent killer. You don't see it, it coming until it's too late. And uh, it's uh, like the government isn't sh so shouty about it as to make you aware. So I think that that element of, of, of this poem is very good. And then the other thing about this poem is how kind of cheesy but sentimental or like heartfelt the, the lust is in, in these characters' eyes. Uh, you know, they say they, they, they go to the Stokevel, which is a fancy party, and they see the ladies there. Uh, and uh, he says, like, shake Kiki's wasp-like waist, Joe. Kiki, open your heart, please. Joe is burning up for baby for ages. I'll shake the one with the Coca-Cola bottle figure. Lindy, the ebony black beauty. Lindy, open your heart, please. Baby, your loveliness drives me crazy. And it's, you know, it's it's obvious these men are pretty horny. <laughs> and they're they're like, hey, open your heart to me. Let me, let me in. Let me... Let me potentially, you know, uh, tap that later, as 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 people would say. Uh, let me let let's get intimate or something like that. Uh, so it's 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 kind of him, like the narrator, trying to get with these women, but also you know talking a little bit about AIDS and AIDS and whatnot, which feels a bit unusual. But you know, in in places where HIV and AIDS aren't really frequently talked about, maybe that's something that needs to be addressed. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Friday Night by Vonani Bila, a pretty wonderful uh, poem from a, a pretty cool poet. I've read some of his other poetry, and it's 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 equally entertaining and uh, and and fun to read. And there's a there's a lot of substance there. Uh, if you're in, if you want to learn more about maybe South African culture, um, or if you haven't really had too many African poets in your life, I definitely recommend that you go seek this out. Uh, and you know, I'll put a link to it in the description as well so that you can you can read the poem. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that more people can find out about this poet or this poem or Poetry Thursday if they weren't already familiar with it. And until then, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and Friday night travels, although it is technically Thursday. Farewell.